Buying or selling NFTs or transferring digital currency would require a crypto wallet. But there are a lot of options on the market right now. So which wallet to select and what criteria to consider? Today, we are in conversation with David Block, a community lead of the crypto wallet Garda. Hello, David. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to ECOS. And um, as an expert in crypto wallets, today I would like to ask you just some questions um, regarding how just a, a common user can select a crypto wallet as there are a lot of options on the market. So as an expert, what would you suggest the main points should be? Hi, Anna. It's good to be here. Uh, thank you for inviting me. And I am David. Uh, you're right. I'm the marketing guy at Garda. And I can definitely tell you more about, you know, crypto wallets and, and Garda in particular. So uh, to answer your question, well, first of all, I'm not a crypto expert. I'm just, you know, a person who is interested in all things Web3 and uh, just wallet um, section of that all. Uh, so I would say that the main criteria is uh, about which platform you're going to be using. So if you want to use it on mobile, uh, you should look for a wallet that supports that platform. Um, then you can look at a web, you can look at desktop. And to mention one of the things that we feature, that would be an a Chrome extension or a browser extension. So Garda covers it all. So we are available on web, desktop, on mobile, and uh, there is a Chrome extension and Opera extension. Okay, all right. Uh, but uh, what are um, the criteria? Um, how can a user select which option he really needs? Uh, how can he um, come up with this idea? Right. So. Uh, Obviously, there are many different wallets you can pick from, and uh, it would be only logical for me to say, you know, get Garda, check it out, see if you like it. But uh, security is very important, and uh, we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, so non-custodial and custodial wallets. Um, people should look at uh, the assets that are supported by one of the wallets that they're exploring. Um, if I have to talk about Garda, we support a number of different blockchains, hundreds of thousands of tokens. So functionality would be another uh, important aspect. And then I think um, the UI is super important as well. Because if you like you know, using it, if it's easy enough, then you're probably going to stick to that wallet for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> exactly. And uh, you mentioned custodial and non-custodial uh, types of wallets. So what, what are these? As a non-tech person, I can tell you that non-custodial means that the company, in this case, Garda, doesn't have access to any of the personal information. So uh, mm -hmm. we don't store any um, private keys, none of that. So the users when they get Garda, they download backup files and they are in charge of their own uh, coins, pretty much. Uh, there is only one downside to that. So if, you know, you forget your, um, you know, backup file somewhere where you just can't find it and you can't recover your wallet, unfortunately, there is nothing we can do. But um, aside from that, it's totally secure and um, no third party would ever get access to your crypto. I think that's that's one of the easiest way to this easiest ways to describe how the non-custodial approach actually works. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, seems to be clear now. And um, I think that a lot of wallets now offer bank cards. Uh, some crypto exchanges as well. Uh, can you cover this a little bit? Um, is it safe to use these cards? And uh, is it possible for any person to order such card no matter where he or she is situated uh, geographically? That's, that's a great question. Um, so yes, it's safe because what we offer is the prepaid Visa card. So uh, mm -hmm. we working with one of the bank partners. So it's the same Visa card that you're used to. So it's not a different technology. You know, all these safety features come with the uh, the card. So as long as you live in the European Union in the number of different countries, and for those of you who are 
considering you know getting the prepaid visa card you can always go to our website uh, to the cards page and see the list of countries that are currently supported but we might be expanding that um list uh, in the near future so again as 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 far as i'm concerned if you live in europe and you, you can confirm your address you can get uh, the prepaid visa card. So that you have two different options. So you can get the virtual card. And I know that the setup process takes just a few minutes. So you fill out the form, you submit it, and you can start using your uh, virtual card pretty much right away. The other option would be to get um, the actual, like I think it's called the uh, physical card. So you have to get that in the mail. And then you can start using it uh, anywhere where visa cards are supported, you know, are accepted. So that's how easy it is. It's safe, it's secure, and you can pay using that card anywhere in the world. Okay, so it is linked to the wallet? Uh, it is, wallet. it is. And it is converted to those currencies in which you want to pay from BTC, for example. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. but I do have to mention that, sorry, uh, I uh -huh. do have to mention that certain crypto uh, assets are supported, but we've been adding more and more, you know, uh, different crypto. So people have more options when it comes down to paying with their uh, Visa card. Yeah, sure. And what about the commission? Is it paid um, in, in uh, crypto as well? No, the thing is you pay in Euro, but you can use your crypto to cover those fees, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder whether Turkey is among the countries <laughs> you cover. I will make sure to uh, double check, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, um, you also mentioned that in wallets, they usually uh, use some other services, some other options that you can use with your crypto. You can use staking. Uh, what other things you can use in the wallet? Absolutely. So Agarda is not just a wallet. I would describe it as the uh, crypto platform. So we have this section called Earn 2.0. What it is, uh, it's a staking platform. So you can um, look at different options, right? You can select the crypto that you want to explore. You can stake uh, that crypto and you get... Um, Pretty good, you know, uh, rewards as we call them. Again, not financial advice or anything, but um, the APY can get pretty good. So um, just not too long ago, we supported quantum offline staking and it's gonna be available on mobile pretty soon. So yeah, again, something to explore. And we are working with uh, different partners and we're trying to offer as many uh, staking options as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. <laughs> Good, thank you. And um, um, as we started covering Garda, uh, what uh, are your competitive advantages, according to your opinion? Why are you the best uh, crypto wallet on the market right now? What would you say? What would you name? The honest answer here would be our goal is to be the best wallet out there, but I believe that it's a reliable product and I, I use it myself, you know, I recommend it to people. Um, to name a few advantages would be again, non-custodial. I know we're not the only non-custodial wallet out there, but it's safe. And another important thing is our customer service. So it's what I call the human customer support. So if you ever have an issue or a question or perhaps a suggestion, you can always reach out to our amazing customer support team and they respond right away, most of the time. So that's, I think, um, the description and the unique selling proposition, if I may say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what are other competitors you could uh, name are probably also good options for our, our subscribers to um, have a look at? Right. Uh, you know what? I would like to name one of the wallets. That would be, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but Ecos has a custodial wallet, right? Uh, well, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I would name that one instead of, you know, just naming every single wallet out there. I'm sure that, you know, people are going to be watching this video already familiar with those. So uh, I would mention just Ecos and, you know, if they're looking for that uh, type of wallet, why not check it out? Well, Ecos has uh, its wallet not sort of uh, 
as a wallet itself, we are a crypto investment platform, and this is sort of a, a core thing which unites a lot of our products. But thank you. <laughs> thank you for mentioning us. So um, as we promised, we will have a small giveaway uh, for our subscribers, for those who watch this video. What they will need to do is uh, write in comments under this video the question to David uh, regarding any anything regarding wallets, crypto wallets, regarding Garda, and David will reply to the questions and then we will randomly select uh, several questions and will reward the authors. So I hope that we'll have a lot of questions <laughs> to check. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah, one more thing. I tr I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. And Anna, uh, what is the prize? Because Yeah, sure. The prize so will be free Bitcoin mining contracts from ECOS, as ECOS is a mining company. And we do mine Bitcoins. So uh, those will be the free Terra hash, uh, hash power for, for the subscribers. Perfect. So, all right. Thank you. I look forward to answering all the questions. Sure. Thank you very much, David, for joining us and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Anna. It was a pleasure. Have yeah. a nice day.